In 1 John chapter 5, the Apostle John has been focusing on assurance, confidence before God. Now John applies confidence to our prayer lives. In 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15, he has this to say, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we asked of him. So in this passage, there are three reasons why we can be confident in prayer. Reason number one, because our confidence is in him. Verse 14, now this is the confidence that we have in him. So our confidence is not in our own ability or in our eloquence in prayer. Our confidence is in God. Reason number two, why we can be confident in prayer is because we know he hears us. As per verse 14, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Our part is to ask according to his will. How do we know his will? By reading and knowing the word of God, by cultivating a sensitivity toward the Holy Spirit, by praying, and by seeking God with our whole heart. We know it's his will that we grow in the fruit of the Spirit. We can pray with confidence, Lord, help me grow in love or joy or in peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, or in self-control. We also know it's God's will that we grow in the knowledge of the word and that we learn how to forgive people. In fact, anything that makes us look more like Jesus is his will. So when we pray according to his will, we can pray with confidence, knowing that God hears us. Why can we be confident in prayer? Because our confidence is in him and because we know he hears us. Reason number three, because we know that he answers. If we're praying according to God's will, and we're convinced that he's hearing us as we cry out to him, then no matter what we ask, as long as it's consistent with his will, God will answer us. So we can walk with confidence. Sometimes we don't know what God's will is, especially for a major decision. So we pray with persistence, but with an open hand, with flexibility. Jesus prayed for the cup of suffering to be taken from him, but then he said, not my will be done, but thy will. Paul prayed for the thorn in the flesh to be removed. And God said, no, my grace is sufficient for you. When we don't know how to pray, we can pray with confidence for wisdom. And God promises us in James chapter 1 that he'll give us wisdom as long as we pray without doubting. It can be an adventure to discover God's will. Be super flexible. Walk by faith and enjoy the process. May we grow in our prayer lives, learning how to pray with confidence keeping our focus on God, purposing to pray according to his will, and knowing that he hears us and answers us. Thanks for listening.